In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So we celebrate this Mass for those who are listening in through the broadcast uh, from Our Lady of Lords in Arnside. And uh, uh, we're rather reduced. I think we've all gone on holiday, haven't we? Except for a few, a, a, a few of us here, which is uh, it's lovely to know that people are beginning to relax and uh, take little holidays uh, at this time. But we celebrate this Mass with, as the people of the parish, representing them. And we hear from St. Paul in his letter to the Colossians how his new converts change their life. And they are leading the kind of life that the Lord expects. And this is really overflowing. Um, you, you can bear anything joyfully. Uh, your life is thankfulness. He's taken us out of the power of darkness into his own wonderful light. We're not lost people anymore. We're people of light. We know that we have God with us. And we give thanks for such great blessings. We call to mind our sins, the times when perhaps we have wandered a little from that path of life into a negative, dark way of life. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Ever since the day we heard about you, we have never failed to pray for you. And what, what we ask God is that through, that through perfect wisdom and spiritual understanding, you should reach the fullest knowledge of his will. So you will be able to lead the kind of life which the Lord expects of you a life acceptable to him in all its aspects, showing the results in all the good actions you do and increasing your knowledge of God. You will have in you the strength based on his own glorious power, never to give in, but to bear anything joyfully, thanking the Father who has made it possible for you to join the saints and with them to inherit the light. Because that is what he has done. He has taken us out of the power of darkness and created a place for us in the kingdom of the Son that he loves. And in him we gain our freedom, the forgiveness of our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. 
The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. <clears throat> All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through the good news, news God, God has called us, us to share, share the glory of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, be my heart and upon my lips, that I may one day proclaim this gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was standing one day by the lake of Gennesaret with a crowd pressing round him listening to the word of God when he caught sight of two boats close to the bank. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, it was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he'd finished speaking, he said to Simon, <clears throat> put out into deep water and pay out your nets for your catch. Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing, but if you say so, I will pay out the nets. And when they got done this, they netted such a huge number of fish that their nets began to tear. So they signalled their companions in the other boats to come and help them. When these came, they filled two boats to sinking point. And when Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus saying, leave me Lord, I'm a sinful man. For he and all his companions were completely overcome by the catch they had made. So also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were Simon's partners. But Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on it is men that you will catch. Then bringing their boats back to land, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Lord, at the beginning of his ministry, uh, was working out how he was going to pass on the faith to other generations, to us. It's all a plan. And what he said was, I'm going to do it through people. I'm not going to sort of come down like bolts from heaven. This is a Holy Spirit hitting you, wham. You're a Christian now. He's saying, I'm going to do it through people called to me. And that will have a great result. And of course, the first thing people say is with Peter, Lord, go away. I'm not worthy. I, mean, I can't do this. Keep away from me. He said, no, no, no. I'm coming into your life. You're unworthy, yes, so what? I choose through you, with me, in you. Then we will go out to the whole world. So let's bear that in mind, that um, the apostles consider themselves unworthy. Peter, go away. It's nothing to do with worthiness. It's uh, God saying, look, I've chosen you. Get on with it. Represent me in the world. We pray for that, for that, that sense of, with all humility, that God has chosen us and we are to represent him.
as the apostles did. Lord, hear us. We pray uh, for all of those who are uh, the successors of the apostles of God, obviously Pope Francis first of all, and uh, all the bishops of the church particularly, that they will carry out their duty of representing Christ at the centre. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all our many, many intentions now. We pray for young people going back to school. I think they're going either tomorrow or Monday or some such time. But that's the first thing. We remember the possibilities of more COVID infections, of course, as a result and its implications. But we also think of those sort of grandparents who probably uh, are more or less exhausted, belting off on their little holidays. And uh, we ask that the children will be protected, their education will not be disrupted, and that their development will continue. And that those going on a little break now, well earned, will be come back relaxed to their home place. Lord, hear us. Lord, we've just mentioned a few intentions. There are many more in our hearts. Grant to all that is good. We know that you listen to our prayerful intentions. You who live and train forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and now sacrifice in your sight this day, be pleasing to you, O God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what is celebrated in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. <clears throat> Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command of form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Yeah. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And I'm now going to ask those who are receiving communion directly to do the usual thing. I will say the body of Christ to each person and you will say the Amen. Already people are instinctively saying Amen. So I think we go one stage further with the resumption of the form of the Mass. And for those who are uh, taking part in this Mass through the broadcast, I invite you to make the spiritual communion. The prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself only to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbour, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And uh, we include also uh, with our gradual reopening uh, the use of devote, uh, uh, devotional candles at Grange when we opened up, on the morning we opened up, Our Lady got uh, 20 candles, little uh, you know, tea lights, and uh, the Sacred Heart, a little bit hidden away in his own special chapel, got 17. I, but it just shows you, however, um, how what devotion people have, they must, an evidence of their coming in to pray in our churches. We've not been able to open up Our Lady of Lords uh, during the day merely because of people being on, key keepers being on holiday just at the moment, but that will happen shortly during the day. And of course, devotional candles may be lit. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thank you.